bedtime, Princess Holly. Into your pyjamas. Yes, Nanny Plum. Clothes into pyjamas. Let's just magic you into bed and magically brush your hair. Ah, magic is so nice. What would we do without magic? Elves don't have magic. Elves are crazy. They don't even like talking about magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tomorrow is the day. What happens tomorrow, wise old elf? Once in a blue moon, the fairy's magic stops working. Stops working? Yes, for a whole day. From sunrise to sunset, it will be no magic day. Why? Nobody knows why. Only that when the moon is blue, the magic does not work. Ooh! Fairies without magic! For a whole day! <laughs> Morning time! Pajamas into clothes. Oh, my wand's not working. Daddy! Daddy! My wand isn't working! Neither is mine! Mine isn't either! Wandy, wandy! Oh, the magic stopped! How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. zibbity zabbity zob <sighs> I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, and I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I have a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and you're dressed without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up with our magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <coughs> this is how you turn the television on. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Oh, very good. And this works like this. How clever. Happy No Magic Day, Mr. Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf, nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine. Of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of No Magic Day. We can all have a holiday. There's 
No time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr. Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can't fix anything. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well, nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. But we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh. And what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's... Mud. Mud? No, it's... Mud. Mustard? Ma Marshmallows? Ma ma Melted cheese? M magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic. Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course. The emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. The Elf Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time. Yes! The day is nearly over. Ah! The magic is back and the Elf Engine is working again. Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah! I'm glad the elf engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Pa! So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh. Abracadabra. Ah, oh, good. The magic is back. And the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Who can jump the highest? Me, me, me. I can 
jump higher. That's cheating. That's not jumping. That's flying. Jumping is all about using your legs, like this. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing in the meadow. I hope it never changes. The meadow won't change. It's been here forever and always will be. What's that noise? Giants are coming! Quick, let's hide! It's only Lucy. The little girl we met at the farm. And her dad's with her. It's so pretty here. Yes, Dad. It's a shame we've got to dig it all up. Dig it all up? Why? To make room for the cows. Ooh. Cows? In the meadow? They're ginormous. The cows can graze in this meadow. Oh. We just need to flatten these molehills. That's not a molehill. That's Gaston's house. <laughs> bow, bow. Bow, bow. Gaston, they're going to flatten your house. Oh! Don't worry, Gaston. You can come and live with me in the little castle. I'll put the cow shed over there. Oh, no! The cow shed will be right on top of my little castle. Don't worry, Holly. You and Gaston can come and stay with me in the great elf tree. And I'll put the cow manure over by those trees. Oh, that's where the elf tree is. What's manure? Cow poo! Oh, maybe I won't stay at the great elf tree. Thanks anyway, Ben. I'd better start building the fence. Psst! Lucy! Lucy! Oh, hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Your dad is putting his cows right where we live. Yes, isn't it terrible? You have to tell him to stop. OK, I'll tell him that elves and fairies live here. No, no! Big people must never know we live here. But I'm a big person and I know you're special. What can we do then? Let's ask the wise old elf. He'll know what to do. He's old. He's wise. And, and he's, he's an, an elf. elf. <laughs> what was that? Shush, we've got to be quiet. OK, let's go and tell the wise old elf about the cows. Cows in the meadow? We'll have to tell the farmer that he can't put his cows here. No, no. We must never talk to big people. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, big people. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Lucy. I thought you said we should never talk to big people. Well, that's apart from Lucy, of course. Lucy is nice. But we must never talk to grown-up big people. You can't trust them. Oh, no, no, no. no. Don't worry. I'll sort it out. What are you going to do? I'll tell the king to sort it out. Cows? Yes, Your Majesty. The farmer is going to put cows in the meadow. Right where Gaston's house is. Oh, well, that's not so terrible. And he's going to put a load of cow poo by the grey self tree. Again, not so bad. You'll get used to the smell. And he's going to build a cow shed on top of the little castle. What? Who is this farmer? I'll sort him out. How big is he? Is he as tall as me? He's my dad. Yeah, a big person. And her dad is even bigger. Yes, well, Nanny Plum, come up with a plan. I already have a plan, Your Majesty. Oh, well done. I'll turn him into a frog. You'll turn my dad into a frog? Cool. That's your plan? It's like they always say. To get your own way, turn them into a frog. That doesn't even rhyme. It's a silly plan. No, it's not. Yes, it is. And I absolutely forbid you to... As I was saying, to get your own way, turn them into a frog. Oh, well done, Nanny Plum. The plan does work. Carry on. Right you are, Your Majesty. Even think about doing anything so... Oh, where did Nanny go? He's almost finished the fence. Frog time! What? Problem solved. Frogs can't build fences. Um, will my dad be a frog forever? Oh, no. 
it'll wear off after a while and he'll be back to his old self again. But won't he just start building the fence again? Oh, I never thought of that. Uh-oh, I think the spell is wearing off. Quick, hide! Huh? Where was I? Oh, yes, I was building a fence. It's been ages. How long does it take to turn someone into a frog? Hmm, maybe I should go and see how Nanny Plum is doing. Good idea. Off you go, then. There's a good elf. So, how is the brilliant plan going? I turned the farmer into a frog. Then he turned back again. And he's still building the fence. No worries. I'll turn him into a frog again. Frog time! No, Nanny. This plan is silly. All right, smarty pants. What's your plan, then? Maybe Lucy's mum can stop the farmer. But you said we can't talk to grown-up big people. We can't, but Lucy can. Yes, I could ask my mum to stop Dad. Come on. The important thing is, Lucy, not to mention elves and fairies. OK, wise old elf. Mummy, Mummy! Hello, Lucy. I thought you were helping Dad today. I was, but... But what? Oh, Mummy, can't Dad put the cows somewhere else? Lucy, whatever has got you so upset? It's just that my friends, the elves and fairies, live there. Oh, no! She's telling her everything. Elves and fairies. How lovely. No, Mum, it's true. Right, leave it to me. There really are elves and fairies. I know there are, darling. Do you? Frog time! Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Uh, hello. Mummy, how do you know Nanny Plum's name? Because I remember her from when I was a little girl. So you know all about the elves and fairies? Yes. I used to play with them when I was little. Sally! Now I remember you. It was years ago. Yes, there was you and Naughty Prince Thistle. King Thistle now. Nanny Plum, we must never talk to big grown-ups. Oh, hello, wise old elf. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Sally. Did you know the wise old elf when he was very young? No. He's always been old. And wise. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Oh, thank you. So it's the little kingdom where Dad's putting the cows. Yes! yes! Then we must stop him. Come on, everyone. Stop, stop. What? We have to find somewhere else to put the cows. Oh, uh, why? Because, um, because the grass here is a bit... Um, dry and, uh... And the ground is, uh, too muddy. There must be a better place to put the cows. No, this is the perfect place. The plan's not working. Uh, who said that? Now, oh, what do we do? Is it frog time? No, Nanny! What? Frog time! Ah! Don't let the farmer know we're here. OK, Clever Clogs, what's your plan, then? Um, hello? We'll be with you in a moment. Now, Nanny Plum, as I was saying... Um, who are you all? Hello, Mr Farmer. We're elves and fairies. And we live here, in the meadow. Elves and fairies living in the meadow? Yes! So, we can't put the cows here, darling. Well, of course not. I don't want to knock anyone's house down. Hooray! And one more thing, Dad. You must not tell any of your friends that you've seen elves and fairies. Mm, don't worry. There is no way that I will tell any of my friends that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you, Dad. Good news, Your Majesty. There will be no cows in the meadow. So, what's the bad news? The farmer, his wife, and just about everybody now know about elves and fairies. I see. Hopefully they don't know too much. And over here is the little castle where the fairies live. Hello! Ah, uh, hello! Next on the tour, the secret elf tree. See all the secrets the elves have been hiding for years. Food delivery! Oh, hello, Mr Elf. Lovely day. It certainly is. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. 
come up. Mr. Elf is kind delivering our food. Yes. Where would we be without elves? No idea, Your Majesty. Cheerio, Mr. Elf. Um, uh... Is there something else? No. Well, yes. I was just wondering if you could pay us today. Pay you? Yes. You haven't paid us any money for ages. Oh, right. How much do we owe you? Um, 492 gold coins. Gosh, that's a lot. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just get some money, won't we, Nanny? Money doesn't grow on trees, Holly. No? No. It grows in the magic money chest. Oh, there's only one coin in it. One coin is all we need. I throw it into the magic money chest. <laughs> it sounds like popcorn. Don't lift the lid up until it stops. It's full of gold coins. Wow, can I have a go? All right, I'll just empty the chest. Now, Ben, throw the coin in. But I haven't got a coin. You made them all disappear. Oh. Without a coin, we can't make money. Um, I've got a button. Perhaps that will work. <laughs> it's doing its popcorn thing. Oh, it's full of buttons. Nanny, can you buy things with buttons? Mr Elf, would it be OK to pay you in buttons? Uh, no. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye. Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So how do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Ah! Wise old elf, I'm looking for a job. Ha-ha! <laughs> Very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the Elf Job Centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Naim... The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The king. Any skills? Being king. Mm, we don't have a king job right now. Um, we need a toy factory worker, or a farmer, or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right, then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way's starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Commandant ship! 
Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. <laughs> what about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. <laughs> Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. All right. How are you getting on, Your Majesty? <laughs> Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The king has arrived to start our harvest dance. Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. <laughs> Righto, what do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! Right. Well, that's as good a time as any to finish my day's work. How many gold coins have I earned? For being a sailor, you earned one gold coin. But for sinking the ship, we'll have to take it back. For working in the factory, you earned one gold coin. But for causing a duck flood, we'll have to take it back. And for working on the farm, you earned one gold coin. But for making the pumpkin explode, we'll have to take it back. But I need a gold coin. I suppose I'll just have to come back to work tomorrow. Ah! Take the gold coin and don't come back tomorrow. One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe I am quite good at being king. I think it's the job you're second best at. Really? And what job am I best at? Being daddy. <laughs>